We're gonna take about five minutes here uh, to talk about consequences because consequences are one of the elements that are so necessary when it comes to setting boundaries. If I'm attempting to set a boundary with someone, let's say, let's keep it simple. Uh, we share food, like we, we share food, but we share food with boundaries. So we share the, the common things, ketchup, mustard, uh, you know, the condiments, mayonnaise, but very specific things like, uh, I don't know, what do you guys like? Cheetos, let's say you love Cheetos. You don't really like sharing your flaming Hot Cheetos or let's say you have a particular cookie you really love and that you don't, that's like, that's your cookie, right? So here's the thing that I teach in, in the boundaries course. First and foremost, regardless of how small it feels, regardless of how like trivial it could be, regardless of if someone's like, oh, well, that's not a big deal. If it's important to you, it's a big deal, period. If it's, okay, almond milk, perfect. Let's just say the almond milk is yours and that's not something you wanna share. You are 100% allowed <laughs> to say, hey, this is mine. Like you can claim it, you can take ownership over it. There's nothing wrong with that. In fact, saying, hey, this is mine, creates a boundary. The almond milk is mine. I'm paying for it, it's mine. I don't want to share it 100% nothing wrong with that because what you're doing is you're creating a boundary and what I tell people in the course is when you create a boundary what you're doing is you are inviting someone into intimacy you're inviting them into your circle the people in the course already know this they already know a boundary we have a circle and when I tell you about my boundaries I'm inviting you into the circle so I teach this in the course so sounds like this hey <laughs> roommate let's go to uh let's go to trader joe's let's go get our food we can go shopping together we can gossip and talk about life and then we get to trader joe's we're buying our stuff you're getting your stuff i'm getting my stuff okay we'll, we'll split some just to save you know da -da 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 -da. we're gonna split some produce hey just so you know this almond milk don't touch it this is mine i this is this is special milk for me so if you want to get some make sure you get your own okay so right there, you're letting them know. So that is called, I call that a boundary conversation. I teach this in the course. You wanna set the boundary conversation. So the boundary conversation is going to set your expectations. It's gonna get people on the same page. Now, this is very important, what I'm about to say, okay? This is very important. When you have a boundary conversation, you have to have acknowledgement. If you do not have acknowledgement, the circle of that conversation is not complete. If there is no acknowledgement, you did not complete the circle. The roommate has to acknowledge, okay, that milk is for you, okay, cool, I got it. Now, once you have, once they have acknowledged the boundary that I set, now we are on the same page. This, okay, so I'm gonna tell you the vocabulary words again, okay? You have a boundary conversation. Once you have the boundary conversation, then there has to be acknowledgement. If you do not acknowledge the conversation or what I asked or what I requested, I have to assume that you don't get it and that you are not going to respect the boundary because you never acknowledged it. I mean, this happens a hundred times a day throughout conversation. It happens a hundred times a day. It's a very subtle thing. It's all, see, boundaries is all about communication. So we have the boundary conversation. We have the boundary expectation. Then once you acknowledge it, we're on the same page. You know, hey, that's my milk. Don't touch it. <laughs> you got your milk, I got my milk. So now what happens, okay? So now what happens a couple days later? You took an edible. My roommate took an edible. <laughs> my roommate got really high, had the munchies. <laughs> and my roommate decided to eat all of his or her cereal. And as he's eating his or her cereal, runs through all of his almond milk, and then decides <laughs> all of a sudden that it's okay to go in my almond milk, but let's just say I'm at work, so I'm not even around while this is happening. So now I come home. I come home, my roommate is high as hell from, from the edible. There's <laughs> cereal boxes everywhere. Not only is his or her milk gone, but now my, my milk is halfway depleted. So now I have half a bottle of milk. And <laughs> there I didn't get a text about it. You didn't ask me about it. 
you pretty much just said, fuck the conversation we had. Fuck the fact that you acknowledged it. Uh, and you're so high that whatever is available to you, you're just going to use. So fuck me. Basically, this is basically how it feels. This is called a boundary violation. You're pretty much just saying, you know what? Fuck Sylvester. Fuck his milk. What I want is more important. So fuck him. So now someone's going to be like, well, it's just milk. It's not a big deal. It ain't about the milk. <laughs> That's the thing that we got to understand here. It's not about the milk. I could buy 50 million bottles of milk. It's not about the milk. It's also not about them. Okay. It's about the fact that we had communication. It's about the fact that we had acknowledgement. And then you violated the communication and the acknowledgement. That is what it's about. And that also tells me that if you're willing to do this with milk, something that actually is not a big deal, all behavior is total behavior. So if you're willing to do this with milk, you're willing to do it with something much bigger, like your half of the rent. You're willing to do it with something much bigger, like, hey, can I use your car to run to the grocery store? And you drive my car from Arizona to, to New York without asking me. See, all behavior is total behavior. So I'm not gonna let you slide. That's called a consequence. When we create boundaries, we have to have consequences. We can't be roommates if I cannot trust you. Boundaries are about trust. We had a conversation and I'm gonna, so now what you do, this is what you do. So I'm gonna do, give you the whole cycle again. You have the boundary conversation, you have acknowledgement. Now the roommate drinking my stuff while I'm gone, that's called a boundary violation. And then what I'm experiencing is called a boundary injury. I'm injured now because I got hurt. Now I'm injured. So now here's what we do next, okay? This is all in the course. I'm telling you guys, I know I, I, I can teach you. If you need help with boundaries, take the course, sign up for the course. We got 60 people in there, I can teach you, man. I'm, I'm telling you. Now let me close this for you. Look, boundary injury, boundary violation. Those two things have to be addressed, period. Those two things have to be addressed. I have to let you know, hey, I am injured. I, I'm in pain, I don't trust you. Why would you do that? Why, why would you do, like, you have to be held accountable for that. Like, I, I need you to, as soon as you get up in the morning, I need you to replace my milk. This is not acceptable. And then I'm going to tell you my consequences. If you do that again, the consequences are X, Y, Z, whatever that is. Maybe the consequence is we're gonna break our lease and we're, we can't be roommates. Maybe the consequence is I'll buy my own damn refrigerator and keep all the stuff in my room, which is very petty. We don't wanna do that. But the thing is, you have to have consequences for boundary violations. There's, this is the only way people learn. Sometimes the consequence is really grand, like we're breaking up, don't ever talk to me. Sometimes the consequence is very small. I'll get my own refrigerator. I get, you know when you go to college and you guys got that little refrigerator in the dorm room, I'll get one of those and I'll put a lock on it. Super petty, it's super petty. But again, that's a boundary. If you, if you have to do that, you have to do that. Having boundaries, and enforcing your consequences is about self-respect. It's about not self-abandoning. That's what I got for you guys today. Uh, that's what I have for you today. I wanted to, to <laughs> share with you some of the framework from uh, the Build Your Boundaries program. Join the program at buildyourboundaries.net. I'll teach you everything I know about boundaries. All this people pleasing, not having boundaries, uh, not speaking up, letting family members use you, walk on you, being in boundaryless relationships, it's not acceptable. It's not it's no longer uh, it's no longer acceptable. So I'm gonna try my best to continue to support support you here on Instagram and wherever else I use social media. If you're just like, look, I need the program, go get the program. You can start it right now. Buildyourboundaries.net. All right, I gotta go. See y'all later.